It is my great pleasure to welcome everyone to Sanders Theater for our opening event of this bicentennial celebration. Mr. Chief Justice, Justice Kennedy, Justice Breyer, Justice Kagan, Justice Gorsuch, and Justice Souter, President Faust, Dean Manning, faculty colleagues, alums, current students, with a special shout out, of course, to Section 5. <laughs> 200 years is indeed a long time by any measure. Here are a few that underscore its length. When Harvard Law School was founded, the President of the United States was James Monroe, having just succeeded James Madison a few months before. The Chief Justice was John Marshall. Henry Clay was the Speaker of the House, presiding over the 14th Congress, which did not meet in the Capitol because the British had burned it into a ruin in 1814. There were only 19 states in the United States. Indiana was the far west. Abraham Lincoln and Charles Darwin were both eight years old, and neither Thomas Edison nor Alexander Graham Bell had been born. In 1817, Harvard Law School was not the only radical experiment. So too was the United States, including its constitution and the aspirations of its framers for a more just society. When in 1817, Harvard Law School opens its doors, actually just a few hundred yards away from this beautiful spot here in Sanders Theater, it boasted six students and two faculty. Approximately 59,998 graduates later, and I counted, there are at Harvard Law School just shy of 2,000 students in attendance from 76 nations, including 1,700 JD students. There are more than 100 full-time tenure, tenure-track faculty joined by professors from practice, clinical faculty, teaching fellows, lecturers, and visiting professors, more than 300 teaching faculty overall, offering each year more than 550 different courses. While much has changed, one fact happily has not. In 1829, one justice on the Supreme Court served simultaneously on the Harvard Law School faculty, Justice Joseph Story, who taught five courses here. Today, too, we can proudly claim one justice on our faculty, our former colleague and spectacular former dean, Justice Elena Kagan. who offers a course each fall. Of course, if others are interested, I expect we can make it happen. <laughs> it is now my privilege and great pleasure to introduce another historic figure, not only a teacher and brilliant scholar of history, but someone who herself made history. The most wonderful, the most extraordinary, 28th president of Harvard University, Drew Faust. <laughs> 